So in this video, I'm going to show you guys exactly how to set up dedicated sending. It's going to take like five minutes. Now, last year, if you watched any of my videos, I said that dedicated sending is one of these things that's kind of optional. But starting February 1st, 2024, it is going to be absolutely mandatory. So please watch this video if you don't want your deliverability to go down the drain. So real simple, what you're going to do is you're going to want to log into Klaviyo and then you're going to click bottom left hand side and you're going to go into settings. Once you're in settings, you just want to click email, right? This is just a demo account that I'm demonstrating this on, but you want to click domains and then you want to hit add branded sending domain. The root domain is basically just your store URL. So for example, let's take Gymshark, right? This would be like the root domain. So you would literally type in gymshark.com or in my case, it's gonna be plethora.com since this is a demo. And then in terms of subdomain, you can use something like hello, send, or like the name of the brand owner, something like that. The things I would avoid using is stuff like marketing right? Or emails. Avoid those types of keywords, but anything that's like send or like hello, that's more friendly, I would go with something like that. So in this case, let's try hello. We're going to hit next. And then DNS provider. Here, we're just going to select Google domains, right? But obviously you would select whatever you need to do. Some of you guys might be hosted on Namecheap, Squarespace, GoDaddy. Those are some of the more popular ones or Cloudflare. But in my case, because mine is set up on Google domains, this is the one we're gonna use for demonstration purposes. So you're then gonna click next and now you're gonna be here with a bunch of this, right? Looks super confusing. I know, I'm gonna show you exactly what to do here. Before this video continues, if you're a seven and eight figure brand owner, you could just book in a call and have my team do this for you. Reason being is because I run an email agency. We've been going for four years and we've generated over $30 million. If you want a completely free audit into your Klaviyo account, giving you exact insights into where things can be improved, what's missing, but also more importantly, because I've worked with so many niches, I can give you very precise and accurate estimations on what the upper limit of where we can actually scale the account to. And that's always super useful for our founders to know. So book in a call if that interests you. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna wanna go over to your domain provider, in my case, it's Google domains, and you're gonna open whatever domain that you're trying to set up right now. And you're gonna click on the DNS settings. It might be called DNS, it might be called DNS settings something along those lines or custom DNS records. Just find that in your domain provider and you're gonna be taken to a screen similar to this where it says host name, type, data, etc. And what you're gonna to wanna to do is you're gonna to wanna to hit manage custom record, right? So obviously for the purpose of demonstration, I already actually have a hello subdomain. So what we're gonna do is I'm gonna go back real quick and I'm gonna change this to community, let's say. And then this is now generated. So what we're going to do is we're going to copy the host name as community and you're going to hit create a new record. So we're basically just going to create a new record for every single one of these. And then in the type, you're going to want to scroll down to NS and then community. TL, just leave this on default. It should either say one hour by default or 3,600 seconds. In terms of the value, you just want to click copy here and then you're going to put like this. Some domain hosts will allow you to add multiple records, but in this case, we would just click add more to this record because as you can see, the host name is always community, 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 and the same record type applies, right? So you're just going to click copy all three of these for my bad. Add to this record, boom. And then in terms of the root record, and this is just for verification purposes. It's just at, or some cases, instead of putting at, you could just leave this blank actually. So in this case, because we're hitting the root domain, we wanna leave this blank. TXT, and then you wanna copy the site verification. So once that's done, you're gonna to wanna to hit save. So once you hit save, it should take a little bit of time to kind of propagate, but once it propagates, you should be able to hit verify records. And then now you can see everything is set up. So now you wanna hit, I understand that I might need to limit my emails to engage recipient for two to four weeks. And then you wanna hit activate. Now this is where the tricky part kind of lies. You know where it says you need to be sending to engage segments for two to four weeks. If you have an established sending record, AKA if you're not a new account, 
you just want to be sending fairly regularly provided you're not doing whole list plus again if you're an established account this is where a bit of guidance might help you so if you're a seven and eight figure brand feel free to book in a call more than happy to walk you guys through this entire process and also just give you guys an audit and some feedback on how the account is going if we can help we will help if not like it's no worries at all hope you guys found this video useful subscribe and i'll see you for more ecom growth hacks